It's an exciting time to work in literary studies. Working with computer science and especially with data analytics, we have a whole new range of tools at our disposal now that we didn't even dream about 10 years ago. This project was trying to focus in on a set of Irish and English novels. Social network analysis has become increasingly popular in recent years as a way of studying literature. One of the things that we found out quite quickly was that it was much more difficult than we were expecting it to be. In Vanity Fair there's two characters who are both called George Osborne. They're a father and son and there's just no way for a computer to tell the difference between the two. Basically we had to go old school and mark things up using human expertise and our wonderful team of young researchers who've been a marvellous kind of asset to the project. Manual annotation is quite a labour intensive one but it really is the only way to achieve the highest level of accuracy that we need to um, generate social networks for the novels. By working with humanities we're able to build networks using the hand annotated text to explore the novels from different perspectives. We started with an electronic copy of the text that we got on Project Gutenberg and from that then we created our character dictionary. In Portrait there's a really famous part where Stephen goes on a religious retreat. One of the priests gives a really, really, really long sermon about sin and shame and this goes on for about 10,000 words. We had to insert the priest's name at regular intervals in order to capture this and make sure that he was represented in the networks when we worked on that part. Using the hand annotated text, we can apply algorithms which will then build the character networks. The networks consist of circles and lines connected to each other. The circles are called nodes and they represent the characters of the novels. The lines that connect different nodes represent the interactions or the strength of an interaction between the characters in the novel. Now that we've actually looked at five million words of text and um, we've identified over 9,000 unique characters, we can start to create cross-novel and cross-corpus comparisons between the different novels and across the centuries. We can start to ask questions like how many servants are there, which as it turns out so far is 664 or about 8% of our characters, and we can then start to look at how are the servants treated, is there any particular interesting aspects of how they fit into the societies in the novel um, and for me that's really exciting. There's so much information in just one book about how a world was imagined by the people who lived in it. There's so much more to learn from the corpus that we've built.